and because they are made of water ice, it could very well be snowing on Jupiter. Remarkably, we are still learning so much about our giant neighbour. It seems with the arrival of Juno, however, we still have a lot to learn, and there's probably questions we don't know yet, let alone answers. I don't know where the time has gone, but it's now been three years since Juno arrived at Jupiter. During this time, it has been collecting valuable and insightful data about the largest of our neighbour planets. It has recently completed Perigee of 21, or its 21st polar orbit, out of a total of 35 planned orbits, which means we are now well past the halfway point of this mission. There was some scepticism about whether Juno would last this long, due to the intense radiation around the planet, but Juno is currently in good health. Its polar orbit takes it very close to the planet, only 4,000 kilometers above its atmosphere, meaning it avoids most, but not all, of Jupiter's plasma torus, or this region of extremely energized particles. But thankfully, Juno quickly discovered that the radiation where it orbits was a lot weaker than initially expected. Juno completely surprised scientists though by discovering another, small and less powerful radiation belt right above the equator, which hugs the planet tightly. 